Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwick Collections. Today I'm using a Lori Whitlock file that is a milk carton and tote. This is such a cute file. I got mine from the online silhouette store, but you can also purchase it directly from Lori Whitlock's website. So I'll put a link down in the description box. I used my Cameo to cut it out, but if you don't have a Cameo or a Cricut, you can simply print it out. It'll come out, come print out with lines and you can cut it out by hand. And this is a really simple file to work with. So I'm placing on my map pieces, which those bottom two pieces needed to be placed on the other side. But luckily with the ATG, I was able to just pull that right up and fix it here in just a moment. The paper collection I'm using is called Poppies, and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous collection from Knitwit Collections. It has lots of elements that come with it, matching elements, and I was so happy with this paper collection. I know I say that about all of them, but this is just a stunning collection. So here I'm fixing my mistake by putting those on the wrong side. Like I said, it was no big deal. Luckily, they popped right up, and that's going to be the tote. Here is the little milk carton. I'm showing you here that I've added all my score lines. And now I'm just following those score lines, pressing it down with my bone folder, making sure I get good creases. This is really easy to put together. After you follow all those score marks, you're going to bend in those corners and that's gonna be the sides of your milk box once it's closed. So I'm adding some Scotch Quick Dry to those two little tabs. I'm gonna fold it in half and just really press it down, make sure it's adhered very well. And then I'm also just going to glue the bottom of the box together. Very simple to put together. So I went ahead and pressed on the inside with my bone folder and that's really all there is to it to put it together. I'm using little tiny clothespins to hold them together. Now I did six of them or the other five off camera and got them prepared. So here are, this is two pieces to the little tote. So again, I'm just following my score marks. They have two tabs on the left and two tabs on the right for each piece. I'm going to add my adhesive to the tabs, fold up those corner pieces and align them together and press them down. I'm just making sure that they align perfectly to get a good finished product. Again, doing the exact same thing to the other side. Very simple to put together. And now I'm adding some strong adhesive to the back and you basically sandwich them together. I'm adding double-sided adhesive and then I'll go around the rest with my Scotch Quick Dry. And now I'm just going to add my two map pieces that go on the side. Again, the collection I'm using is called Poppies. And look at all the flowers and the colors. I love this collection. It's a gorgeous collection. So I'm just going to work with each box one by one and embellish them. I'm using some yarn here. I punched two holes with my crocodile and I'm just going to tie it. This little, this would make a great little gift, adding little embellishments to, or candies, whatever you'd want to do. Here's a little paint chip that comes in the Element Collection. I love this. And if you've never worked with digital before, it's once you purchase the digital pack, it's yours to keep forever. So you can print it out as many times as you want. There's tons of little elements. I'm using the bundled pack, and when you use the bundled pack, you save 20%, so you get tons of papers, tons of elements, and you won't get duplicates of anything. So I'm adding some of the paper flowers that come in the collection. I love mixing those with the mulberry flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I think it's a perfect combination. And this collection here, there are so many flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts that match with this collection. I, being that it's a smaller, um, the car milk cartons are smaller. I was kind of limited with how many, but I have so many flowers that would go so well with this collection. Here I'm showing you a little charm that says love. I got this from the wedding section at Michael's and I'm tying that on along with a little tag that comes as one of the elements in the collection. Here's some more little tags and this little bow. These are little tickets that I'm gluing to the side. And again, I'm adding some more of the paper flowers. 
I go through and do all that first and then I'll go back and add the wild orchid craft flowers. I think once I fill the milk cartons with either embellishments or candy, and my plan is to fill them with both, then I might go back and, and um, excuse me, glue some of the milk cartons shut. But on the others, I like those little clothespins. I think I got those from Joann's a long time ago in the craft store. So look how cute. This is a off-white chrysanthemum from Wild Orchid Crafts. I think this just went so perfect with this collection. And Wild Orchid Crafts also has tons of poppies, poppy flowers to choose from. They would go really well with this collection also. Here I'm using some ivory open roses. I believe those were the 10 millimeter. I'll have all the products linked, like I said. So if you're looking for something specific, you'll be able to find that. Again, I added another chrysanthemum. This is one of those little ivory heart flat back embellishments. I love using those. You probably see me use those in a lot of projects. And the magnolias go great with this as well. I'm using the earth tone magnolias and I'm actually gluing those to the edge of the box. I will be adding some rose leaves, just hot gluing those in place. This is a little teardrop pearl that I'm showing you up close again from Wild Orchid Crafts. I just tucked that behind the flower. And now I'm going to embellish this side with a couple of the earth tone chrysanthemums as well. I thought they went perfect with this collection. And my camera did cut off. It was, I had a corrupted file, so it did cut off here at the end, but I'll have pictures. The only thing it did not catch me doing is I added some flat back pearls in ivory from Wild Orchid Crafts as well. So I'll make sure to have detailed photos and check out the description box as well as over on my blog. You'll find links for Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwick Collections. And I think you'll be amazed by how many products both those companies offer and they work great together. I hope you've enjoyed today's process. Thanks so much for stopping by.